Hello, have you ever heard of a disease called glass bone osteogenesis imperfecta, a very strange name, right? Many people, when they first hear it, immediately imagine a skeleton as transparent as glass. At night, when colored lights shine on it, it is as bright as Halloween night, and some people guess that the skeleton is very hard. What is the truth? Let's find out in this video. Normally we run, jump, play, play football, climb mountains, row boats or do heavier things like carrying our lover, lifting weights or even punching each other. It's all thanks to having strong healthy bones. But not everyone is lucky to have such a skeleton. Maybe you won't believe it, but in reality, there are people who only have a slight fall to break a bone, a slight collision can cause a broken bone, and even just sneeze and break a bone. The scariest part is that if you don't do anything, it will suddenly break. It felt as if their bones were made of a glass tube as thin as a soap bubble. That is the name of this disease, vitreous bone disease or another name that is easier to imagine than brittle bone disease. Another name is osteogenesis imperfecta. In general, we can understand that osteoporosis is a disease in which bones are weak, brittle, and break easily. So where did duong come from like that? What are the causes? The answer is genetic or innate. Specifically, it comes from genetics. As you may or may not know, each of us has two copies of most genes from our father and mother. Each person has their own version, so we often have some characteristics like our father and some characteristics like our mother. Or some similar characteristics to the neighbor. Among the many genetic codes that we inherit from our parents, there are some genes that have the function of storing decisive information about collagen production. But unfortunately if these genetic codes are defective, collagen will be created in an abnormal way. Mostly less, and collagen has nothing to do with bones, it is a factor related to skin and beauty that is often mentioned in TV ads. If you can remember like that, your memory is very good. Right now we will learn about collagen and the nefarious relationship between it and the skeleton. Collagen is a type of protein and is the most abundant protein in the body. Collagen in the body has an important role, which is to bind tissues together to form solid connective systems. To put it simply, it is like a type of chewing gum that both adheres to and stretches the surface of the things it sticks to. Thanks to that function, it is seen that if collagen is added to the skin, it can make the skin smoother, more youthful, reduce wrinkles and bring a beautiful, youthful face. However, people also believe that it is difficult or almost impossible to supplement collagen with skin cream because collagen molecules are too large for the skin to absorb. Thus, advertisements that products applied to the skin help increase collagen are unscientific and unreasonable. Putting beauty aside and returning to the bones also has a bonding effect. Thus, collagen will help the components in the dew bond more tightly, thanks to which the bones will be harder and stronger to withstand high-intensity impact forces. Unfortunately, some babies are born with faulty collagen-related genes. The amount of collagen produced is less than normal or the collagen is still abundant but of poor quality and has no binding effect, so the bones of those babies are very brittle and easily broken. So how do you know if a person has osteoporosis or not? Actually, every disease has different levels of severity. People with severe disease will have obvious signs such as loose joints, deformed face, barrel-shaped chest, curvature of the spine, brittle teeth and bones. However, there are also people with mild cases whose bones are harder and must be hit quite hard for the bones to break. For these people, there is no need to worry, living a little lightly is okay, just afraid of passing it on to the next generation. However, for people with severe disease, their lives will be very difficult, even impossible to live. To treat this disease, it is very expensive. Moreover, current science does not have any method to completely cure this disease. Some common methods that doctors apply are treating broken bones such as surgery to clamp them, nailing them, taking care of broken teeth, physical therapy and rehabilitation, etc. In addition, people have thought of a very complicated method, which is to repair faulty genes to create collagen normally, but this method requires a lot of resources and cannot be commonly applied. Besides, the problem lies in the lack of collagen, so it can be supplemented into the body by taking functional foods, infusions or even through daily food. 
So, you understand that glass bone is a very brittle bone that easily breaks due to lack of collagen, when collagen does not have a binding effect. More deeply, it is because the genetic code regulating this is faulty. That's all, hopefully medicine will soon find a cure for glass bone disease. Thank you for watching the video. Hello and see you in the next video.